Hello friends, <clears throat> told you in the last video that uh, we were going to make a lap vise and uh, this is a lap vise in case you've never seen one. It's just my version of a lap vise. They come in all shapes and sizes. We're going to try to make one like that and we're going to add a little twist to it and add one like this as well. That way I won't have two, I'll have one. But uh, I made it over in the barn. I worked on it the last couple of days off and on. And uh, it would be impossible for me to make a video to show you how I made it, but I could show you how I put it together. So uh, we'll go down here and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the, uh, the plate for the lap vise. We're going to need a uh, piece of metal for the anvil. We've already drilled and counter sank those, so uh, let me mount the plate on there for you real quick. Four, we need four screws real quick. We're going to need two carriage bolts. We need six of the nuts that go on the carriage bolt. We we'll also need six washers. We have four pins that we made out of a dowel rod <clears throat> and the two wedges. Let's put the uh, plate on there and get started here. But before I do that, I want to add a little glue. So we want it to be uh, nice and stable as we can get it. Get the screw in there. Okay, we've got the four screws in where the anvil's at. And we're going to mount the, uh, we've got the holes already drilled. We're going to put the bolts through the end here, like so. And we're going to put a washer on uh, each one. And put the nuts on. And we'll screw that down and uh, move forward. Okay, we got the nuts on, but we even made our own little wrench. We're not done with it yet, but uh, that's what tightens it up. We've added two more nuts. Now we're going to add the washers. Then we have this block of wood. This is the jaws to the vise. We glued a piece of leather on there. It goes The leather has to be up on this one. And we have the second jaws to the vise. Piece of leather has to go down. What we want is for the uh, keep from scratching the uh, part up and uh, gives us a good bite, the leather does. Alright, I've added the, uh, the bolts to the top, the washers. And with the jaws, we want a little bit more room so we can get a bigger piece in there like a hiking stick. On this one, we were just limited to how far up and down we could go. The same thing applies to this one. We're just limited to how, how far up and down I can go. But this one will give me a lot more room that I could get a bigger piece in there. But we'll move on now to the pins. Just the little dial rod pins. You got the holes for 
whatever size piece of you're working on. So we'll say uh, pick. We'll say we're working on this piece of wood. We're going to put the bit wedge in. Put the wedge in like so. I also made a little hammer. You can see that it holds pretty good. Well, I just thought I would share the uh, lap vise with you there. We still have more work to do on the wrench to uh, that's what you tighten it down with. We're going to see if we can't fancy that up a little bit more, but. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you ever need a lap bus, you know how to make you one. Got to have the little amble. Trying to show you here. And we combine the two together. Again, here's the little wrench to tighten everything up. You know, that's pretty cool right there now. Come on. Made that in the, uh, the shop there. Say so God bless to you. Thanks for coming by and watching this video. I sure do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Share the video. Like the video. We'll catch you in the next one.